Merrill says he has launched an investigation into these concerns and he's trying to find out who this man is and if he really meant what he said or if he only misspoke. <laughs> This was the rowdy scene Tuesday night at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham. Hundreds of Doug Jones supporters shouted and cheered as the news had just broke that their candidate was going to win. Unprecedented victory tonight. And I was in the middle of it all, bringing the excitement live to you on Fox 10 News. As we were waiting for Jones to take the stage to give his victory speech, I interviewed a number of jubilant supporters, getting their reaction to the big win. But it was this man's comments that went viral. Why are you excited to see this victory? Because we came here all the way from different parts of the country as part of our fellowship, and all of us pitched in to vote and canvas together, and we got a boy elected. Secretary of State John Merrill says he's received hundreds of complaints from concerned citizens about that brief interview. Well, it's very disconcerting when someone who is not from Alabama expresses the fact that they had participated in our election. And so now it's incumbent on us to try to identify this young man to see what kind of role he played, if he simply played a canvassing role, if he was a part of a process that went out and tried to register voters, or if he himself actually became a registered voter. Some people believe the interview should be considered proof of voter fraud. We don't have any evidence of people doing that. Our numbers would not indicate that that has happened. But when we have somebody that's recorded and documented on television saying that they voted and that's what he said, then we've got to get to the bottom of that. And the Secretary of State's office also says voter fraud would be very unlikely because every voter is required to show a photo ID before casting a vote. Lynette